हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट प्लानी मीटर व्हाट आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स एंड इट्स कंपोनेंट पार्ट्स सो इन दिस वीडियो विल सी व्हाट इज प्लानी मीटर नाउ प्लानी मीटर प्लानी मीटर इज एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट यूज टू फाइंड आउट द एरिया ऑफ इरेग्युलर शेप बाउंड्री फिगर्स ड्रॉन ऑन मैप For example, lake. If we have to calculate the area of lake, it is not possible to calculate area on field. So, by using methods of surveying, we have to convert that lake onto a map by using appropriate scale. By using the scale and the map, the using planimeter will find out the area of actual Lake on a ground. So to find out area of any irregular shape boundary figure, we can use planning meter. For example, your lake contours, contour maps, we can use planning meter. Now, there are two types of planning meter. First, as you can see, a digital planning meter. Digital planning meter, as the name indicates, it has digital display over which will get direct reading. in this we have a keyboard by using this keyboard we can set the required scale the required unit and we can calculate the area directly by simply tracing the boundaries of your irregular shape figure or the map so digital planning meter will give us accurate readings with less time and less calculations whereas in second figure as we can see it is optical polar planimeter it is also known as mechanical planimeter in this planimeter as we can see there is no digital display it means what we have to calculate sub reading by using this readings we have to apply a formula to get the area of that particular figure so there are two types of planimeters now we'll see what are the component parts of each planimeter over here as you can see we are using digital planimeter to calculate the area the arrow represents how will follow the path of tracing so simply we have to just follow the path of tracing the tracing point we have to circulate over your boundaries and then we have to just take the reading on your digital display so directly we'll get reading on your digital display so to calculate the area of this figure by using digital planimeter what we have to do the tracing point we have to rotate this tracing point along your boundary the accuracy we have to maintain while tracing the boundaries more accurate you will trace you will get more accurate readings so while starting we have to press start button on your keyboard panel we have to select the scale onto which the map is drawn and the unit kilometer meter mm centimeter whatever you desire and then we have to press start button after start button we have to trace the boundaries and we have to come back to a starting point again the number displayed on display board will give you the accurate reading of the area <laughs> in next slide as we can see there is a special note the accuracy of the results obtained from using planimeter in the measurement of areas depends mainly on the originally accuracy drawn map if the maps are drawn with some error then the area calculated by planimeter will be wrong as well as on the experience of the operator when tracing boundary of the figure as we have discussed earlier we have to accurately trace the boundary of the figure if there is some undulation or if there is some error while tracing the boundaries will get area Plus or minus 
the accurate area. Next slide, we'll see what are the parts of planimeter. Now, first is your tracing arm. So we'll see the figure first. In the figure, we'll explain each point in detail. Over here, as we can see, first is your tracing arm. So tracing arm, yeah. We are talking about polar planimeter. So tracing arm. Tracing arm, we have two arms, tracing arm and lever arm, which is also known as anchor arm. These are two arms. We have to connect these two arms together by using hinge adjustment over here. So we have to connect two arms together by using a hinge adjustment. Then we have a tracing point. It is used to trace the boundary of your figure. Then we have a needle point which we have to fix outside the figure or inside the figure depend upon the size of the figure. If the size of the figure is small, the needle point will be outside the figure. If the size of the figure is large, the needle point will be inside the figure which is a fixed point. Then we have provided some weight so that your needle point will get fixed to a particular position. Then we have index vernier on which we will get and dial on which we have to calculate the readings. So while calculating reading, we require three parameters. We require a dial over near and index from which we'll be getting the reading of your area then we have tangent screws to adjust your tracing arm and we have a wheel which will support to rotate the tracing arm smoothly over your boundary edges so while calculating we have to use the Initial reading and final reading. So, by using dial, one year and index point, we have to calculate the initial reading. After that, we have to start the tracing, and at the end, we have to again take the reading, which will be your final reading. And at the same time, we have to continuously observe the dial mark zero, how many times it passes your index point in clockwise or anti clockwise direction. So in this video, we have seen the types of planimeter and its component parts. Thank you.